Today, tensions ran high in the trial of Cardell Hayes, the man who shot and killed Saint Star Will Smith in 2016. Hayes is charged with manslaughter for Smith's death and attempted manslaughter for the shooting injuries his widow sustained. Hayes argues the shooting was in self-defense. Chris Joseph reports from criminal court. This trial is about the argument of self-defense and what frame of mind Cardell Hayes was in during the shooting. It came after two car crashes and a shouting match. Tensions ran high in the case that will decide Cardell Hayes' future. Defense attorney John Fuller and Orleans Parish District Attorney Jason Williams at times yelled objections over each other as witnesses for both sides gave their testimony. Prosecutors are still making their arguments, but the defense got the chance to call its first witness because of her limited availability. The on-scene witness said she saw Will Smith and one of his passengers as more aggressive than Hayes, saying the passenger took off his shirt and was, quote, beating his chest, and that the Hayes party issued a warning to the Smith party before the shooting. She said the women in the Smith vehicle tried to hold the men back, but they were ignored. Meanwhile, Williams questioned discrepancies about the witness's comments on Thursday about that warning versus what she said in 2016. The most heated moment from the trial came when the state called a former NOPD detective who said he determined the Smith car was damaged in the second crash based off statements, but couldn't determine that the Hayes car was damaged in the first crash also based off statements. Fuller asked if the detective was intoxicated by Smith's fame, kicking off a shouting match between him and Williams. The defense questioned former Saints running back Pierre Thomas, who was with Smith, about how much Smith drank. The defense also attempted to poke holes in Thomas's testimony. Pulling quotes from his testimony in 2016, Thomas said, quote, It has been eight years since the incident. My memory was way fresher then. Things are a bit hazy now. The Orleans Parish chief forensic pathologist was also called to the stand. She confirmed Smith had eight gunshot wounds, seven in the back and one in the side. She also confirmed that Smith's blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit for driving at the time of his death. The trial is set to resume at 9 o'clock on Friday morning, and the judge says that it could wrap up as early as Saturday. Reporting in New Orleans, Chris Joseph, Fox 8, Local First.